Spanning the sands of time and the vast stretches of North Africa's terrain lies a tale as old as history itself. North Africa has always been a melting pot of civilizations, from the pharaohs of Egypt to the Carthaginians. Yet, one group stands out with a legacy deeply intertwined with the region's fabric, the Berbers. These indigenous peoples, with their unique culture and language, have played a pivotal role in shaping North African history and identity. Delving into the annals of history, the Berbers, or Amazai as they often refer to themselves, trace their lineage thousands of years back. Rock paintings scattered across the Sahara, some dating back to 10,000 BC, hint at the ancient life of these early settlers. Their language, Tamazite, boasts of an array of dialects, echoing the vastness of their historical presence in the region. This tongue has been passed down generations, a testament to their enduring spirit. As empires rose and fell, the Berbers weren't mere spectators. They established prominent kingdoms that left indelible marks on history. The mighty Numidia, located in present-day Algeria and Tunisia, was a formidable foe to Rome. The Mauritanian Kingdom, with its intricate relations with Carthage and Rome, played crucial roles in ancient geopolitical dynamics. Later, the Almoravid and Almohad dynasties would rise, forging empires that spanned Spain to sub-Saharan Africa. These Berber states weren't just powerhouses, they were centers of culture, trade, and intellectual thought. Beyond political might, the Berbers have a rich tapestry of traditions that celebrate life's rhythms. From the mesmerizing Ahidus dances of the Atlas Mountains to the intricate geometric designs in their jewelry and tattoos, each ritual tells a story. These customs, born from the diverse landscapes, from windswept deserts to snow-capped mountains, form an integral part of Berber identity. The colorful Amazigh festivals, like the Imulkul Marriage Festival, still bring together thousands, showcasing their enduring communal ties. Spirituality has always coursed through Berber life. Before the sweeping waves of Islam, the Berbers practiced a mix of animism, Judaism, and early Christian sects. But with the Arab conquests in the 7th century, the landscape began to change. Islam was embraced, but in a uniquely Berber way. They played a significant role in the Islamic Golden Age, with renowned figures like Ibn Battuta charting their journeys across medieval realms. Their spiritual depth is reflected in the architectural marvels, like the Qutbiyah Mosque and the University of al Qarawiyyin, established by a Berber woman, which stands as the world's oldest existing university. The sounds of the Berber languages are as diverse as the terrains they inhabit. From the Tamazite of the central regions to the Tamashek of the Tuareg desert nomads, these dialects have stood resilient against time's erosive tides. While Arabic dominates urban centers, in the rural heartlands, Berber dialects still echo. Modernity, however, brings its own challenges. Today, while countries like Morocco and Algeria have given Tamazite an official language status, the fight continues to keep this linguistic heritage alive, vibrant, and relevant in a rapidly globalizing world. As the wheels of time spun forward, the modern age brought new challenges and opportunities for the Berbers. With the colonial scramble for Africa, these ancient lands were claimed by European powers, reshaping the political and cultural landscapes. Post-independence, nations like Algeria, Morocco, Libya, and others grappled with defining national identities. In these narratives, the Berbers found themselves in a complex position. While they significantly influenced these emerging national stories, they often felt sidelined or marginalized. Yet, their spirit remained undeterred, contributing immensely to the socio-political and cultural fabric of North Africa. The Berber political spirit is far from dormant. Across the 20th and 21st centuries, they've been active agents of change, pushing for greater rights, recognition, and autonomy. The Kabili Berbers in Algeria, for instance, led significant revolts in the 1960s and 2000s, championing for cultural and linguistic rights. In Morocco, the Rif region witnessed uprisings like the Rif War against Spanish colonialism and, more recently, the Hirak movement of 2016. These movements underline the Berbers' constant quest for justice, rights, and a rightful place in the nation's narratives. The annals of history gleam with the stories of remarkable Berber figures. Queen Kahina led fierce resistance against Arab invasions in the 7th century. Tariq ibn Ziyad, a Berber general, is celebrated for his conquest of Spain in 711 AD, leaving an enduring Muslim legacy in the Iberian Peninsula. In the realms of exploration, Ibn Battuta's tales from lands as distant as China and Africa inspire even today. These luminaries, among many others, exemplify the Berber spirit one of adventure, resilience, and brilliance.
Strolling through North African cities, one can't help but marvel at the architectural grandeur inspired by Berber aesthetics. From the formidable caspers that dot Morocco's landscapes to the unique granaries or Irem of Libya, Berber architecture showcases a harmonious blend of functionality and beauty. Notable elements include the use of earthy materials, intricate geometric patterns, and the integration of communal spaces. Such designs, born from a deep understanding of the region's climatic challenges, continue to inspire modern sustainable architectural trends. The Berber influence isn't restricted to North Africa. Their indelible marks can be felt globally. The vibrant Berber rugs, with their captivating patterns, adorn homes worldwide, telling tales of the desert and mountains. Berber music, with its hypnotic rhythms, has inspired genres like flamenco in Spain. Additionally, the culinary heritage, rich with flavors of tagines and couscous, has found a fond place in global palates. This cultural diffusion underscores the Berber's profound and wide-reaching impact on world civilization. The winds of change, conflict, and hope have carried Berbers beyond North Africa's borders. Today, significant Berber communities reside in European nations like France, Spain, and Belgium. Despite the geographical distance, these diaspora communities hold on to their roots passionately. They establish cultural associations, host vibrant Amazigh festivals, and run Tamazite classes for younger generations. Their tales are a poignant testament to the Berber spirit's resilience constantly adapting, growing, yet firmly rooted in its rich heritage. The dawn of the 21st century witnessed an exhilarating Berber renaissance. There's a revitalized interest in preserving and celebrating the Tamazite language, with countries like Morocco and Algeria even integrating it into their educational curriculums. Berber TV channels, radio stations, and publications have mushroomed, creating platforms for the Amazigh voice. Festivals celebrating Berber culture, music, and traditions are not just local attractions anymore but have gained international acclaim. This revival is a testament to the community's resilient spirit and its determination to shine in contemporary times. Despite this renaissance, the Berbers face challenges that threaten their unique identity. Assimilation pressures, dilution of cultural practices in urban areas, and political marginalization in some regions are profound concerns. Language, a cornerstone of any culture, is also at risk, with only a few of the Berber languages still being widely spoken, while others teeter on the brink of extinction. The balance between modernization and preservation is a tightrope that the Berber community walks daily. Tourism in North Africa is incomplete without delving into the rich Berber heritage. From the labyrinthine streets of ancient Medinas to the serene Saharan camps under starlit skies, the Berber influence is omnipresent. Their traditional ceremonies, music festivals, and local markets are major attractions, drawing tourists from around the globe. Moreover, ecotourism ventures in the Atlas Mountains, curated by Berbers, showcase their sustainable living practices, further cementing their role as indispensable stakeholders in North African tourism. The Berbers play a pivotal role in the North African economy. Their traditional practices, like argon oil extraction and handicrafts, have transformed into lucrative industries. The global demand for Berber rugs, pottery, and jewelry has spawned a thriving export trade. Additionally, their knowledge of the land makes them invaluable in sectors like agriculture and pastoral activities. In the modern urban context, Berbers have branched out into various professions, contributing substantially to their nation's economic tapestry. The trajectory for the Berber community is promising. With increased global interest in their culture and a renewed local emphasis on preservation, there's hope that the Berber legacy will thrive and adapt. Young Berbers are now leveraging digital platforms to showcase their heritage, blending the ancient with the modern. Governments, recognizing the socio-economic and cultural value of the Berbers, are gradually implementing policies that foster their growth and protect their rights. The Berbers, with their millennia-old history, stand as a beacon of resilience, adaptation, and vibrancy. Their journey, fraught with challenges, is a testament to the enduring human spirit. While the sands of time have shifted many civilizations into obscurity, the Berber flame burns bright, illuminating the rich tapestry of North Africa. Their story, often untold, is not just a chapter in history but a living, breathing epistle of endurance, culture, and indomitable spirit. Thanks for tuning in to Middle East Info. Your support helps us delve deep into the stories that matter. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.